On Friday of last week, a statement from Buckingham Palace was released, and this is what it said. It is with deep sorrow that Her Majesty the Queen has announced the death of her beloved husband, His Royal Highness, the Prince Philip, Duke of Edinburgh. His Royal Highness passed away peacefully this morning at Windsor Castle. And since then, I'm sure we've all watched the coverage on our televisions and listened to tributes being paid from all around the world to the Duke who died at the age of 99. Donald Trump paid tribute to Prince Philip saying he defined British dignity and grace. British Prime Minister Boris Johnson said, we give thanks as a nation and a kingdom for the extraordinary life and work of Prince Philip, Duke of Edinburgh. Australian Prime Minister Scott Morrison said, Prince Philip embodied a generation that we will never see again. For nearly 80 years, Prince Philip served his crown, his country, and the Commonwealth. And Princess Anne, the Duke's only daughter, said, he would leave a legacy which can inspire us all. Folks, no matter how long we might live, Death is a reality for every single one of us. We've all experienced it in our families, amongst our circles of friends, and of course, in our everyday relationships. And maybe as you listen to this today, you happen to have an empty place in your life that has been left by the death of a loved one. Grief is natural, even for those of us who have a personal living relationship with Jesus Christ. It signifies that the person who has died was important and special to us. But thank God grief doesn't have to have the last word. And isn't that what we've just celebrated right throughout the whole Easter period? Hope in the face of death and confidence in the resurrection power of Jesus. Because Jesus has died and risen again, we trust that God will also raise those who have died with faith in Christ, those who have been saved by God's grace and born again of the Spirit of God. Many words have been used to describe Prince Philip's unparalleled life of public service. Words like faithful, steadfast, supportive, extraordinary, devoted, dedicated, and unwavering. But to those who prove faithful, to God's calling on their lives and who put their hands to the plow of Christian service. Thank God for those words of encouragement that we have in Matthew 25 verse 21 that I hope and pray we will all hear one day in the future when we pass from this scene of time into glory. Well done, good and faithful servant. May God continue to bless you and keep you all safe.